like that right here on Wave 89. And I also like it when Megan and Deanna come and visit me for our <laughs> weekly What's Up Kadena segment. How's that it going? A, that was a great segue. That was a really good segue. Thank you. I tried. <laughs> it just came to me because I'm so clever. But <laughs> it's almost like you do this for a living. Yeah. No kidding. No kidding. No. Today's my first day. I don't even work here. So, <laughs> so What's Up Kadena is where we sit and talk about all of the cool things that we do on Kadena and all of the other things happening there and there's always a lot there's so. always fun special events that we love coming to chat with you about yes um, every now and then we get to take you out and do something fun so we can talk about it together which fortunately is what we get to do today yes <laughs> i love it when we actually get to go and do things i know it's like the most fun part about this job yes you know so uh reagan buried the lead here and that we <laughs> Went to the driving range this weekend. We did. Um, Deanna is the account executive over the golf courses. Mm -hmm. So she was able to tag along with us, tell, show us a little bit about how it works. Um, so we went to the Banyan Tree Golf Course driving range on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, it was a little rainy, but you know what? We made the most of it because it's covered. Right. <laughs> yes, exactly. So we, don't, we didn't get drenched. We didn't get rained on. At all. It was really nice. Um, so also, spoiler alert, uh, last time I was here, I kind of called out Reagan for not doing any sports in high school, and I feel <laughs> really guilty about that. But let me tell you something. We were talking and prepping for this trip to the golf course, and Reagan was like, you know, I've never golfed before. I don't think I'm going to be any good, and I think you were lying to me. because you're I promise I was not lying. You're practically a professional. <laughs> that is so far from the truth. <laughs> sure but I, I appreciate you. This would d disagree but oh, to yeah. us at least definitely they would disagree <laughs> okay so i feel like we all get up there i went i think i went first I, mi I missed like the first like 15 times i tried to whack a ball same uh no no ma'am <laughs> no um Reagan goes up there and she like tries a couple of times and she's like, wow, oh, this is hard. And then she sees this like guy at like a, like a handful of stalls down the way mm -hmm. who was really, really good. And she watched him a couple of times. And then all of a sudden you're a professional. How coachable <laughs> is that? Like you've missed your calling. Actually, you haven't. You're so young. Start golfing now. You, ha you have a career. I thought about doing it in high school. And then I was like, no, I don't really want to wear that uniform. I just I don't really want to do it. Plus, I just wasn't into it. <laughs> But my dad is, and so while we were at the driving range, I was, I said it plenty of times, I was like, I'm channeling my, I'm channeling my dad, mm -hmm. he likes golfing, he's good at it, channeling my dad, and I guess it worked, yeah. at least for a little bit, and then I started to lose my mojo, <laughs> and I got really bad at the end, but. No, I mean, you were so good, like, I cannot believe how quickly you picked up on it. I feel like good might be subjective, you were good compared to me. Deanna, you did really well, too. Yeah. It was, I was a natural, apparently. I yeah, you no hit idea. the majority of, like. Every time you swing. Okay, so Deanna and Reagan were good, and Megan was awful. So no, no oh my gosh, not was awful. <laughs> it just takes a little bit of practice. Yeah, oh no, that's but, it. But the important thing is, a good time was had by all. Yes. <laughs> um, the best part is, uh, we realized this when we got there that if you are going to the driving range, you can borrow rent clubs for free, um, and that's for everybody. So if you're just going to the driving range, um, you can go maybe. Uh, I don't know. I watched a couple YouTube videos before I went out there just to make sure I was maybe <laughs> doing it right. Doing it right. Uh, clearly, it didn't help. Yeah, you can get some uh, golf clubs for free to go. And there's a what you call the little vending machine for golf balls. Little ball dispenser. Yeah. There's, yeah. A, there's a little ball dispenser right there beside it, so you can go get a couple buck, buck, buckets of balls for pretty cheaply. Mm -hmm. And kept us entertained for over an hour it was so much fun it actually was. unexpected also getting the clubs for free was a pleasant surprise yeah mm -hmm. i was like is this awesome. for demo days no it's every day every day mm -hmm. yeah it's, it's for free i was like wow i'm not going to question it let's just <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's just, just go <laughs> we were able to safely socially distance from mm -hmm. the other people there i think i mean there's enough space between stalls but really if you wanted to go every other stall you could hey. they have um 20 covered stalls and 12 open stalls so that's tons of space so you can go, but I was thinking this could be a really fun like date night or like mm -hmm. a girls date because mm -hmm. you can go, you can get a couple buckets of balls, you can, you know, have fun. They're um, putting in these targets um, outside. Who was it from the golf course? That stopped it was Aubrey. By? Aubrey from the golf course stopped by our office today and was saying, you know, those big pink squares that yes. we saw, they're turning those into targets. So, you know, add a little element of like competition into it, which we were I doing. I love that. We were doing anyway. <laughs> Like, okay, if, we, if Megan can get it to the 50, the 50 foot, or the 50 yard. <laughs> then we can do it. Then, then no. 
<laughs> yeah, they're adding in these targets, so a um, little element of competition, but you can chit chat, you can save socially distance, and then when you're done, you can walk up to the tea house. Have, mm-hmm. you, been, have you been to tea house? I have not been to tea house yet. You are missing out. Tell us I about know. tea house and the views. So tea house perfectly overlooks not only the most of the golf course, but also the flight line, mm-hmm. and there's also this like beautiful sunset. You can see the water. It's like a whole picture just right in front of you as you're eating. It's underrated. Mm-hmm. I feel like whenever you tell people go to tea house and you the view was just a pleasant surprise people mm-hmm. don't talk about it enough so yeah you can go hit the balls go get a snack they have um they have a specialized menu right now mm-hmm. but all of that is on kidinafss.com you can go look at their menu that they're working with right now see the views i mean a really fun like date night take your kids maybe get them out of the house for a little bit on the weekends go with your girlfriends just a really good fun outing right on Kidina. Absolutely. And they have an October special as well on their menu. Yes, it is their pumpkin soup. Um, Never had which pumpkin soup. Our, our coworker Leanne has not stopped raving about since she remembered that October was coming up. Yes. Mm. Um, did you go to the t- did you get to taste it when you No, the, um, they they do it every October. Oh, okay. so yeah. She um, remembers it from last year. Mm-hmm. Wow, it's that good. So, yes. That <laughs> I got to try this. I know I haven't had it. I am I'm a I'm, I'm a fan of the pumpkin. I know it's kind of a basic thing to say, but like, whatever. No, I think I'm we should take it. that label off of pumpkin. Like, <laughs> it grows naturally from the ground. Why is it so horrible to like pumpkin? <laughs> and it's it's less basic here because uh, Japan uses kabocha instead of the pumpkin that we're used to. Mm-hmm. So there's just slightly different kind of lighter flavor to it, which what is really know. interesting. I think I asked you today if something tasted Gordy. Like, yes. Oh, she was like, oh, it Gordy. tastes different. And she's like, yeah, is it like Gordy? Kind yeah. of like, you know, a pumpkin's a gourd. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes plenty of sense. <laughs> so if someone wanted to go on a date night to Tea House and go to the driving range, yes. what times would they be able to go? So except for Mondays, the driving range is open. Um, on Mondays, the driving range is open until 6 p.m., but every other day it's open until 7.30. Fantastic. And then do you know the tea house hours on top of your head? Tea house closes at either 2 or 3, depending on the day. So, okay. Because um, they have limited hours right now as oh. they kind of work on their kitchen a little bit. Mm-hmm. They're kind of sprucing things up in there. So they they have lunchtime hours right now. They have now. lunchtime hours. Okay. Mm-hmm. So tea house is operating with lunchtime hours right now. And then, but, nor- but then... When they're done with their sprucing up, they'll offer dinner. Yes. Okay. <laughs> they also have a special as well, a ladies' special. Yes. Um, every Thursday, they offer half-price green fees for a round of golf. So if you and some girl girlfriends are going to the golf course, um, and I know for me, like, maybe I need a couple more trips to the driving range to, <laughs> before I can take on a whole round of golf. But, yeah, you guys can have half-price green fees on Thursday. Um, and they said, I think, a group of four? Um, anyway, everybody in your group will get the half price. Fantastic. And Thursday is supposed to be really nice out, yes. too. So I think that's perfect time. Perfect. Yeah. Yes. And then they also have the Banyan Tree Golf Association. Oh. Um, it is, it's like their club, is that yeah. how you would describe it? Uh, and they have, in the October Venture, they have all the information about how to join. But if you are maybe new to the island or you were an avid golfer back in the States and you're here trying to, like, find your golfing community Mm -hmm. um go to the pro shop figure out how to sign up i mean they have a jam-packed schedule of fun things going on so if you're looking for that golfing community connection uh definitely go to banyan tree pro shop Mm -hmm. wonderful and the october venture is a great place to get a lot of information about um the golf courses and kadena facilities in general where else can people go to get more info um, there is kadenafss.com under the fun tab they have all of the um all the golf information but all of like the recreation and fun things to do there's also facebook.com slash kadena fss or kadena fss on instagram fantastic and we're going to take just a short music break but when we come back we're going to be talking a little bit about the chibana golf course as well we've got to give that a little love too but here in the meantime is katie perry with daisies back. If you're just now joining us, I'm here with Megan and Deanna from Kadena FSS for this week's segment of What's Up Kadena. And we're talking all about golf today golf. and October <laughs> and Halloween and spooky things and events, which is one of my favorite things to talk about. So awesome. But let's let's kick it off with the golf. Let's talk about Chibana Golf Course. So we spent the last segment talking about Bunyan Tree Golf Course and what they have to offer. 
But also, if you go right outside Gate 3, there is Chabana Golf Course. Mm -hmm. um, Dean knows a little bit more about Chabana, but they have the golf course, they also have pizza, and they have a dog park. <laughs> I pretty much only go to the dog park because I am terrible at golf, but tell us a little bit about Chabana Golf Course. Yeah, so I haven't personally been to the driving range out there, but I know they have one there as well. If you wanted to go out there, um, they also have a dog park. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, my favorite part about that whole area is Chippers, which is their snack bar, which hand makes their pizzas and they're real good they it's are real good. good the it's honestly a local favorite because the locals don't need an id to, obviously to get to that area and um they it's locals are most of their business actually they love the pizza there so it's really really good what special do they have this month well <laughs> <laughs> they are pretty famous for their margarita pizza it's a pretty mm -hmm. common That's um, the one pizza i've had <laughs> on the on the island here and uh, it's definitely a local favorite and um it's National Pizza Month, so Josh from uh, Chippers is featuring their margarita pizza for this month. I had no idea mm -hmm. that it was National Pizza the Month. The best month. October, right? Yeah. Well, there's so could... many good things in October. Yeah, as if you could make October even better. Honestly, where does it end? I know. Right. And I mean, they can just keep it going. Mm -hmm. Halloween yeah. is on a Saturday, mm -hmm. and it's a full moon. Yes. Mm -hmm. And there's also pizza all month. <laughs> yes. And I get to wear a costume to work on what? a Friday. I am so excited for that. I don't know what I'm going to be at, though. I was about to so, ask, what are you going to be? I have no clue. I'm sure it'll be a good one. Like, movie character? I don't know. Ugh. It's just, there's so many options. Are we wearing costumes to work? Oh, definitely. Okay. You just have to. Definitely. You just oh. have to. <laughs> At says <laughs> yes. <laughs> so awesome. There's golf. Beautiful view there as well. The grounds mm -hmm. are yes. super pretty. Dog park. Is mm -hmm. that free for anybody to go there? Yes. Fantastic. Um, my dogs and I, I, ha I know I've told you before, I have a puppy who has all that puppy energy. So we go, and if you go after work, like after the duty day, I mean, there's, I mean, always at least five, ten dogs there that your little monsters can run around with. It, yeah. Run around with. Um, but yeah, it's fun, and we love catching the sunset while they're there running around, and then always that parking lot is full of people playing golf. So I'm not an expert on golf, but I think the fact that it's always busy says a lot about the grounds. Mm -hmm. And um, but yeah, beautiful views there as well. So Definitely. So we're approaching October very quickly. I'm excited, and I'm also excited about this October Venture Magazine. I can't wait to get my hands on it, because that's, like, my favorite thing to flip through. I know. I love the Venture I Magazine. Have some, I have some for you. I'll give them to you before I leave. Yes. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about some of the events that are going on that people can read about. Well, first, um, the cover is of Underwater Pumpkin Carving. Deanna is also the uh, account executive for the marina. Tell us a little bit about underwater pumpkin carving. So I am very excited about the underwater pumpkin carving event. Um, it's basically the perfect way to merge like spookiness of October with the island life, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so the marina will provide you the pumpkin. You don't have to bring your own pumpkin. Um, and you just rent the equipment or bring your own, pay a small fee, and you go down there. It's a two-person team and you carve your pumpkin underwater, and then you bring it back up, and they judge based on the best carvings. Wow. I know. Wow. First of all, I don't know how to dive. <laughs> <laughs> Second of all, I'm not great at pumpkin carving, so if I had to do this challenge, um, it would end poorly. It's definitely not for beginners. But right? <laughs> no, I wouldn't think so, but it sounds like so much fun. Mm -hmm. And this isn't the first time they've had this competition either. Yeah, they've had it in the past too. Mm -hmm. So obviously it was a success before, yes. otherwise they wouldn't have it again. So yeah. it must be really fun. I, I probably should have asked. I wish we had seen the pictures they probably have them but we should look to see if they have the pictures of like the pumpkins people have yeah before. i wonder what they look like we will definitely post pictures of the pumpkins from this year's please do done. we'll definitely do that because i'm curious because again pumpkin carving deceptively easy it's not it's hard <laughs> It, wait, deceptively difficult is what I meant yes. to say. <laughs> no, you think it's so easy, and it's not. It's so hard. Nope. And then underwater? <laughs> I know. That right. just makes it even harder. But yes, so much good stuff in the Venture Magazine. I'm so excited to read it. This is a great place where people can get all the information about everything in October that's happening on Kadena at all of the facilities, all the Halloween stuff, all of the family things, the, the teen center, mm -hmm. everything. Next week, I think we'll probably hit up all the fun, spooky things that are going to be going on throughout the month. Awesome. Uh, so we'll hit up we'll hit on that a little bit more next week. But yes, uh, when you're out, it's on stands now. Our publicity manager Jamie has gone out and delivered it to all the FSS facilities and also some non-FSS facilities. So if you're out and about and you see one, look for the cute diver with the big pumpkin on the cover. 
that's the newest cover, the newest issue of Venture Magazine. I love it. And where else can people go to get more information? At KadenaFSS.com or Facebook.com slash KadenaFSS. Or give us a follow on Instagram. We are always posting the funnest content. So You are. Kadena, I love it. <laughs> and KadenaFSS on Instagram. Awesome. I always hate when the segment ends, but, you know, we get to do it again next week. We do. And we'll go over lots of fun fall food and all the fun spooky things for people and their kids to go do. Love it. It's my favorite time of the year. <laughs> and too. that and Christmas, but we'll we'll talk about that <laughs> later on. <laughs> we won't be that early to uh, Christmas. Well, thanks guys for coming in. Mm-hmm. I really appreciate it. Yes. Even though we had to move it to Tuesday, I... We should just do it Monday and Tuesday. Yeah. Come on. Every day. (laughs) (laughs) Every day. What's up, Kadena? (laughs) Awesome. Well, thank you guys again. Uh, Have a fantastic rest of your day. You You too. too. Thank you. (laughs) Once again, that was Megan and Deanna from Kadena FSS here for our weekly segment of What's Up, Kadena. Going to take a quick break here. Got more music coming up.